Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. I wanted to uh, share my garage sale finds with you that are uh, going to go into my eBay store. And this is for the week of... Let's see, this past weekend was April 2nd and 3rd. So, um, first I want to give you an update on a couple of things that I found last week that uh, just sold yesterday. I found these two Hallmark Light and Motion ornaments last week at a sale. Paid a dollar a piece for them. Put them in a lot together, and they sold for ten forty nine. Not too bad, but you know I was hoping for a little more. Um, they're gonna go live in Canada. And then this great vintage fountain pen that I found is um, going to go live in Spain. And this sold for forty two dollars. I paid three. So I was really happy about that. So I'll have to send those two things off today. And I just think it's fascinating. I mean, you guys might not, might not think it's fascinating, but I think it's fascinating that I can go on like some back road somewhere in some person's yard and find some random item and then it comes to live with me for a little while and then, you know, I ship them all over the world. I just think that's really cool. All right, I'll show you the things that I bought this past weekend. Went to a uh, estate sale on Friday, and it was probably picked over by the time I got there. I mean, it had gone on for a couple hours Thursday, and um, I didn't get there till after noon on Friday. So, this is the uh, few things I found there. Found this Osmoroid pen. This is another fountain pen. Not a great name. Um, as I found out, I didn't know anything about them but found that and I already have three people watching this so I should make you know at least $9.99 on that I don't really start any of my auctions below $9.99 I used to do the 99 cent thing and I was losing money and, and my husband you know made a point he's like you know you're doing all this work you're finding things you're bringing it home you're cleaning them up you're taking pictures you're listing them and he goes and then you know you're gonna sell something for 99 cents so he had a point. So now pretty much everything starts at $9.99 and up. Um, found this vintage transistor radio called Computron from Solid State. I bought this for a couple reasons. I bought it because there's a lot of radio collectors out there. I bought it for the color. Um, and it looked like a uh, like it came from like the 1970s. It works, and of course it came with the original box. And when I came home, these were selling for 10 to 15 bucks, so not too bad. The fountain pen and this cost a dollar a piece. And then the last couple things I found at that sale, um, found a Bible history book. This was a, um, a Catholic school textbook. And it's it's kind of beat up on the back, so I'm hoping to get you know 9.99 for it. Um, I saw one that was nicer than this, sold for 30, so hopefully that'll sell. And then I found this big, huge Bible, very big. This is from 1952. This is the papal edition. Bible, nice red lead, uh, red leather cover. It is a little beat up, um, but it's really nice. And it even has inside of it the original receipt. And this was twenty nine ninety five. You probably can't see it because this is my crappy camera. But it was twenty nine ninety five back in nineteen fifty three. So. It's pretty expensive. Uh, I've seen a few of these on eBay. One sold for, I think, 60 And the others, they've got huge prices on them, um, 125 to 200 So I'm probably just going to put this up for 19.99 or 29.95 and see what happens. I'm hoping, you know, the original receipt might sell it for me. Because um, Bibles always sell. I don't know why, but I found that out last year. I started buying them and 
pretty much everyone I've ever bought has sold. Uh, I was going through a junk jewelry box at a garage sale and found this toggle charm necklace. Um, I know you can't see that, but it says juicy. It opens up, it has a magnetic closure. It has a little heart here, a little corset, little bikini bottoms, a little pearl, a flip flop, and that's just like a little shield. So I found that. That was actually free. And went to a rummage sale on Saturday. That was a little crazy. But did find a few things. Found this plate. And the reason that I bought it was because on the back, I know you can't see it, but it says Royal Worcester on the back. And it's a very good name, sells very well. And, um, you know, if anyone has this pattern, then, and, you know, needs a replacement piece, then here it is. So, that was a dollar. Uh, oh, the, the books, by the way, they were $2 a piece. Found this plate. This is a Wilton Armital piece. These always sell pretty well for me. This has a paisley pattern on it. It has kind of a green patina painted in here. And um, I can't find the name of this pattern. I've been searching and searching, but I can't find it. But I already have somebody watching it, so. Hopefully that will sell. Found this pretty bowl. This is from Toyo, Japan. It looks like it's cloisonne. It's actually faux cloisonne. Um, they didn't use wire. They used raised gold enamel to look like wire. But nice little kind of cherry blossom pattern and the, the finish is like a green kind of marbleized finish. So I found a bunch of these on eBay. They're not selling great, but there aren't any that look like mine. So maybe somebody will like mine. Uh, this was, that was $5. That was, you know, my big risk of the weekend. And found some of my staples, my staple items, my coffee mugs. I buy a ton of coffee mugs. I can usually find them for 10 to 25 cents and I've never sold one for under $9.99. And, and they sell. Sometimes I buy some that I think no one will ever buy this and they do. And I spend $9.99 plus shipping. So, hooray. So I got this Minnie Mouse one. Um, you know, it's a fairly large size one. No stains, no crazing in the bottom, which is something that I look for. I guess it was designed by Jerry Lee. So, this is a nice new piece. It was $0.25. Cents. And I do, when I, when I do take pictures of these, I take pictures of the front and the back if there's a different design. I take pictures of the bottom and I always, always take a picture of the inside. Because there's a lot of coffee mug collectors out there that some may not care if they're staining in the bottom, but there's a lot of people that buy these for gifts and they want to, you know, they don't want to give someone a gift with coffee stains in the bottom of it. Found this Pirates of the Caribbean one also. I actually have three of these um, that I bought. These are also brand new. These are the really large size ones. So, I'm hoping these, these will go, especially because the, the new movie comes out this summer. So that should uh, hopefully up the uh, searches on Pirates of the Caribbean stuff. And, um, oh, I forgot. At the estate sale, I found this little pen light. This is the one and only thing I bought in the garage full of tools, because I don't know anything about guy stuff. So, found this. Liked it because it had a little Bakelite tip. It does work, you have to fiddle with it a little, but I like that. And then I bought this other Disney mug at the rummage sale. And I liked it because it looked old. It had an older mark on the bottom. And it also said Walt Disney Productions, which means it was made sometime between 71 and 86. In 86 they changed over to Walt Disney Company. So, I was happy to find this for a quarter also. And, uh, oh, I paid a dollar for this, I think. So, now I'm going to take in the other room and show you my, my bigger stuff.
Here are all my new friends that I bought this weekend. Um, I never used to buy stuffed animals and then I read somewhere that uh, someone said that, you know, plush was selling pretty well. So I started buying some and it actually did okay with some of the pieces. So I found this Grover right here. He's uh, pretty big as you can see. He was actually free and um, I found two of them on eBay. Both of the people want $60 a piece for him. So um, obviously not going to put him that high but I'm pretty confident that he's going to sell and, and make me some good money. Um, this little bear right here He's from Harrods in England. He's jointed. Really good quality bear. He was $2. Found this nice pink flamingo. And you probably can't see his wing. Hold on. But it says here he's from Animal Kingdom in Disney. And I found one other on eBay. They were also asking $50 or $60 for that too. Which I think is crazy for a stuffed animal. But hopefully I can sell him. Um, the Roo and the Tigger are Disney Store exclusives. It says so on their um, on their feet. So they were um, a dollar a piece? I think they were a dollar a piece. The Flamingo was also, he was two dollars. Roo and Tigger were a dollar and Woody over here was a dollar. So not bad. And then finally, I set my tripod up here. Oh, I didn't buy that pillow, that's mine. I'm a Disney freak. And I love the castle, so there's castles everywhere. I bought this knife set because a lot of times, you know, kitchen knives sell very well. This is a Kuch, Kuch Stoltz. But found out that uh, it's probably a dud. But six piece cutlery set and it has the cutting board. So may not sell that, but I can always keep it for, you know, when my my son gets his own place and uh, you know needs to set up his kitchen, so it won't go to waste. Then I found this print. This is on canvas. This was uh, given out in 2007 for the Disney Vacation Club. I just really like that. And it has the certificate of authenticity. And if I can't sell it, I know someone that I can give this to who will love it. So that was $5. And then my last find of the weekend, and I was pretty happy about this. This cost me like $3. This was at a garage sale, uh, a charity garage sale. So I paid probably a little more than I normally would. But I found these great this great Mickey Mouse transistor radio and the headphones look like Mickey Mouse ears and it's in the original box it originally sold at Toys R Us for I can't see it, $9.97 and it says Walt Disney Productions here on the bottom so I know it's probably you know from the early to mid 80s it doesn't really look 70s to me so um, this is at least 25 years old and I have not seen one other one on eBay so that's a good sign so that's it for my garage sale eBay finds for this weekend and I'll let you know if I uh, have any really good luck with anything next week so have a great week happy treasure hunting and thanks for watching